Hello ladies, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. So today's video is going to be my second Halloween tutorial. Um, so this is going to be kind of like a jack-o'-lantern um, tutorial. So what I'm doing here is I'm sketching out just with any nude um, eyeliner just to see where I'm going to add that jack-o'-lantern uh, face. And once I'm done sketching that out, I'm going to go ahead and take off my makeup. The reason why I did it this way was because I did have to put makeup and I had to go do an errand and then come back home. But you don't have to do it that way. You can just go ahead and do your makeup on one side and then don't do it on the other side. And I'm only taking my makeup um, inside the area where I drew um, that line. So now we're going to go ahead and grab the liquid latex. And I did buy these brushes at Michael's. And just, just any cheap brushes could do because you're going to ruin your brushes with latex. So I'm getting a little bit of toilet paper and um, adding latex beneath it and um, a, on top of it just to make sure that it sticks really well. And the reason why I'm adding toilet paper is just to add a texture to um, the wound. I did take off the toilet paper on this part, but I will come back and add it, add it again. I just wanted to make sure that I added the latex first. So here is where I'm starting to add little pieces of toilet paper. You can always, of course, use tissue, um, whatever you want. So while the first layer of latex with tissue is drying, I'm going to go ahead and draw out the eye. And I did want to make sure that I covered my eyebrow on this part. Because I'm not very well at covering my eyebrows with a glue stick, how everybody does it. Um, so now I'm just going to go with the Maybelline Cream Liner. And I'm just first I'm going to outline that line that I did with the nude color. And then I'm just going to go in there and color it color it in. Well, it's not color it in. It's fill it in. Sorry. <laughs> and I did change a few brushes just because I wasn't liking the application, but I finally found one that worked. So here I would actually recommend using a face paint. Uh, just because I felt like the liner was a little bit thick, uh, so I had to really, it was kind of, it was hurting my eye, you can say. It was just a little bit too dry. I'm just going to go with an, 
a black eye pencil and just do our upper and lower waterline. And my eye started getting irritated. So now I'm going back with another layer of latex. And again, while that is drying up, I'm going with a black shadow and just setting the black liner just to make sure that it doesn't move and it doesn't look uh, patchy. So here I'm just adding a little more latex just to make that mouth area a little bit wider. And the nose area as well. So now I'm grabbing some of the Nazaru paints. Uh, it's a face painting kit that I got at Michael's. And this is the orange color so I believe I guess these colors you're supposed to wet them or wet your applicator and then it's it comes out good so it did really work actually it's way better than the paints that I got at the part at Party City actually those really did suck so these were actually pretty good and that kit was $14.99 and that sponge that I'm using actually came in that brush kit that I bought at Michael's which is $4.99 and it came with a lot of brushes and sponges So to go in those small areas, I did grab a smaller brush and I'm still using the orange color. What I wish I could have, uh, I should have done actually is um, place the orange color first and then place the black color. So, but lesson learned, now I know. Um, so now what I'm doing is just with a eyebrow plucker, just start picking up that latex. Just lifting it up a little bit. Be really careful because it kind of hurts a little bit. So on that lip area and the nose area, I didn't really like it um, because it wasn't enough space for me to draw my mouth. So I just uh, removed it and I'm adding more latex and then I'll just come back and fix that. So here I fixed it a little bit, I already lifted it so I didn't want to put that part in here. So now I'm just drawing my nose, I'm just doing any triangle, half triangle nose. And again, I'm using the Maybelline liner. And if you see my lips moving, it's because my friend was actually over, um, my best friend was actually over visiting me. So I was talking to her while I was recording the tutorial. So here I did left, lift up a little bit more of the latex just to make sure I drew in my mouth. And you can just draw any mouth, it doesn't matter. I really didn't like the way that I drew it. I, I know that I could have done a better job. But I had already done it so I didn't want to go back and erase it. So again, fill it in with the black liner or paint and make sure you set everything um, just, just because you don't want it to start creasing while you're out partying or something trick-or-treating so now what I'm doing I'm grabbing a red lip gloss from NYX and I'm just adding that under the latex and it, it makes it seem like it's blood. Um, so I really liked how that looked. And I actually got this technique from Alex Faction.
This was very difficult to do while I was talking. Andaba de chismosa. So now I grabbed a burgundy-ish lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I added that as well in the same areas. So now I'm going to use the color uh, M846 from Makeup Forever and I'm mixing it in with the NYX, color, the NYX eyeshadow in the color Hot Red. And I'm mixing those two just to make it look like I'm bruised. And I didn't show this part for some reason. Um, but I did add a little bit of black, just more towards the edges between the latex and my skin. Another thing that I wish I could have done also is um, added some shadows to the black area so it looked a little more realistic. So now I'm just going in to blend. And I'm adding eyeshadow just a little bit in the areas where I feel like it needs to because I don't want the lip gloss to come off and you can just see my skin. So now I'm adding just any fake blood. Um, you can buy, the, buy it again at any Halloween store. But I got more like a thick blood instead of the watery one. And I just applied it on the top of the shadow. And I'm just trying to do this uh, part a little messy. And you can just add any lipstick on the other half of your face. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually setting the orange with an orange shadow. But yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked the tutorial. Happy Halloween to you all. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.